hey guys welcome back to my channel today i am sharing how i made this i guess you could say circle dress umbrella dress out of some uncara that i had i was excited i was like okay i am gonna make me one it's gonna be cute boom here we are so get into the video please like share subscribe check me out on different um social platform um, platforms i'm on um, social media i'm on tiktok if I'm not mistaken, everything is TVL designs all across the board. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I started out with about three yards of fabric. I folded in it in half, as you can see. Then I folded it into like a triangle. So I took one corner and i folded it over so now i have a sharp point at the end i'm smoothing all my fabric out to make sure all of my edges line up and if you need to put a pen or paper clip so nothing shifts while you're doing your measuring and while you're doing um your cutting so i grabbed a dress like a summer dress that i created um probably like two summers ago and i'm going to use this to measure not measure but to be able to cut out my armhole and my neckline okay stay with me guys it's gonna be dope but yeah so i'm gonna do this i'm not going through all of the extra stuff this is what i'm gonna do so i lay it out of course my armhole part is going to be on the side of my seams okay where i'm going you know so but anyway so i'm taking my ruler and i'm going around the bottom to measure out my circle now everybody does this different of course they will use chart you can use chalk you can use, use whatever paint tool you have but what i'm doing i'm using my ruler and i'm cutting as i measure so normally yes the rule is measure twice then cut once i'm doing what i do because i've, I've been kind of doing it for a while so i was pretty confident in getting the length now i wanted it to be a little bit longer but mine came out to be about 20 no maybe 39 inches and then of course i had to hem it but anywho so once you do that you can still use something to draw that way you can go ahead and cut it but i'm laying my um ruler here to during the cutting process you know, you can use your weights, whatever it is you use to hold. Heck, you can use a cell phone to hold that fabric in place so it doesn't shift while you cut. Um, yeah. And as I cut my neckline, I was debating whether I how you know how long I wanted it to come down, but I just went ahead and cut it similar to the dress that I already had. And as you can see, when I pull that over, that seam needs to be cut. Well, the side of the fabric needs to be cut because I want to use that to add my pocket, and plus I have to sew it down on both sides. Now I do have a little bit of this uh, edge up there. I'm not worried about that because honey, I'm going to make this dress. This fabric is not going to make it. It's just going to you know, be used to construct it. Okay. Anyway, so this is the shape of it pulled out. But anyway, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you how I add my um, pockets. Did I, uh, okay so i measured down seven inches i took a uh, um, clip to hold that spot for me because i didn't want to miss i didn't want to lose it and then i got my pocket pieces that i just basically created from drawing a circle around my hand and 
I'm going to lay them good sides facing one another. Yes, it's going to be on the inside, but that's just my preference when it comes to doing my pockets. And to do this, I went and got my pins instead of my clips because when it's time to sew it, it's just that much easier. So again, I repeat the same process for the other side, the back side of my dress. I do front facing and I pin that together because what you're going to have to do is sew it down on each piece first before you even join the pockets. But anyway, this is just me constructing it for now. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. But before I go to the other side, I like to go ahead and clip the rest of the side of the dress down using my um, clips or either pins. That way I don't have to worry about shifting when I go and measure and do everything on the other side. So again, we're on the other side. And I'm going to repeat this step. So my measurement again is seven inches down for my um, underarm and I'm going to clip it there. And I'm going to pin right sides together using my pins of course and then I'm going to add my clips to hold everything else in place Now I'm going to make a bias tape out of some of the, well, yeah, bias tape um, some out of the remaining fabric that I have. And what I did was I measured around the armhole all the way up to the shoulder part. And if I'm not mistaken, I got for my dress because mine is pretty much a um, plus size dress. And... It was about 11 inches, if I'm not mistaken. So what I did was I cut out a piece that was 22 and a half. And as you can see, I've already cut it out. And this is how it will be folded. Fold it in twice and then fold it over. And then we're going to... Yeah. Anyway, so... What I'm going to do is fold this one in half for right now, and I'm going to cut my second one. The purpose of me doing this is because for my armholes, I wanted to match up the pattern to make sure both of my armholes has the blue and yellow part. Now, my neck is going to be a different, um, it's going to be the other uh, blocks to this fabric. So I folded those in half, and I cut them to make sure that they're the same size for my armhole, my arm bias. Now for my neck, I'm going to wait until I go ahead and go a little bit further with the dress. So, I well, I take that back. I can use the same method that I use for my arm. But for me personally, I like to get a fitting in before I do my neck. Just in case I want to change it. Anyway, so I'm hemming the bottom. And all you do is fold it. And then you fold it again. And then you clip it. So about one one eighth one fourth of an inch just you know do a straight stitch around that and as you can see 
this is my neck and like I said I use a different color block and I use the same method um, that's my arm you can see that is the blue and yellow and this is my pockets and basically everything has been sewn together and yeah this is basically my dress here and I'm showing it to you inside out now you can also go back and like surge use your serger to do a little bit you know clean up work but this one I might just keep the way it is because I like it and yeah that's the end of the video guys pretty much I hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like share subscribe and I'll see you guys again in the next video and of course at the end I'm gonna share my me in the dress again all right peace